Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Hound Dog Mocha Lover, and let us continue with a focus. We got quite a few comms to go through, but we're going to go ahead and try to get down to that research slot as fast as possible and clear out the Eastern Scavengers. Men who travel through the radioactive cyclones have made their home here and are looting our city. We can work out a deal where they work a claim so long as they give us a cut of the profits. We get an arms workshop and a double bonus for industry technology. Which right now, I believe, which one were we justifying on? We were justifying on these guys. Someone did say in the comments yesterday, yesterday we should probably go and conquer New Sterling. Very good idea. So, we'll let time go on. We're going to go and kill these guys off. And then we'll attack New Sterling. And then we'll probably have our little civil war. Cool. So, someone also asked, what's the point of me do doing encryption, decryption stuff? Someone said it wasn't worth it at all. Like, since a lot of resistance DLC came out. Which is completely false. Because encryption will hide information about units on the map. And focus tree progression from other countries. So that we know what other countries are doing. A higher value than the enemy's decryption will negate enemy decryption combat bonus. And this can help you in combat. So, it says 0. It's actually 0.5. Go figure. It's a numbers game. A higher value of decryption than the enemy's encryption will give a decryption combat bonus. So that's why we still do it. Because that can help us maybe a little bit in combat. That's why I do it. Cool. Uh, let's see. Yep. I already talked about spending research points or time researching encryption decryption. Let's see. Someone recommends I play as Warren. Now... Warren, I'm pretty sure the person means Warden, but someone also thought it meant I should play as the Troll Warren. Yes, I will actually, I do plan on eventually playing as a Troll Warren, obviously that's the Marrow Drinkers, but yeah, the Troll Warren, I will eventually play as them again, not sure when, but eventually. Cool, next up we shall grab, mm, Saws, Dynamite Teams, it's 2276, let's get some better planes first. Let's do that, we still need some more what? Water, we need some more water. Uh, someone recommended that, actually, there's there's some, some support for us to use special forces. There's some support for us to use power armor, I, like I asked you guys yesterday in the last video. So, you guys, overall, there's while, I did, while there is support for both, there's more support for us to use special forces. In which we will, and there's a couple names that have been thrown at me to use in the campaign, so we'll probably use those names as well. Uh, let's see, we got some money. We got a few slave arenos, but I'm not really interested in using them right now. Well, maybe we'll use them later. And I did already make us go to outside of auxiliaries, outside of battalions. It's always kind of nice to do as well. Uh, more resistance, but more compliance. Just that the compliance is just so good. It's just so good. But can I grow this yet? No, we're getting really close. So, foreman, medic. All we can do is kibble eater, huh? Maybe. Maybe we'll see what happens. And settler physician. Well, since this is the only one we can actually do right now, actually, we can grab one of you guys. You know, I'd rather just course up more quickly. Yeah, it's just so most campaigns I do click on that for increased compliance. Not every campaign, because sometimes it doesn't make any sense. But for now, I think it just makes some sense for us to go ahead and get more compliance, especially in places like this. So, so one recommends that we play as the Think Tank Nation. Actually, a few people recommended I do that, but right currently at the time of this recording, Think Tank is actually underpowered and very difficult to play, so probably not yet, maybe in the future, but I've heard they're very, very difficult to play as, because you basically have no army or something like that, or no, and negative political power. Political power. Howling forward, though. We brought order to Dog City. It has gone from another spot to scavenge to the nucleus of a new town. Perhaps in time, it'll be a city, in fact, as well as name. That's a very tall thingy, my bob. Probably skyscraper. Prepare defenses, and we're going down to warfare for anti armor tactics. Very good. Can't take that much longer for this, right? Nah, 50 days. Less than, less than two months. That's not too bad. Alright, so do we have the and Insta? You guys come over here. Let's go ahead and do that. Totally fine. Can we duplicate this? Go up to 50 for now since... Oh, well. Hold on. There we go. Since we don't have a massive airbase here, it, it's not bad, but... It's not as what it could be. So, contact lost, bears his teeth, some of our scavengers went missing. We can't raise them, and then we only... We can't raise them, we can't reach them. And we only have a message with their last known location. Please recall whether we try to rescue them. When, uh, the, when the leader fails, others pay the price. Absolutely send a rescue... Rescue... Blah, blah, blah. Rescue team. It's a miracle the courier we dispatched found the scavengers. Bloody but alive, it seems like they may have even found some lot to justify the expedition. We've got some political power, manpower, and equipment back as well. Very nice. I'd say that was fairly successful, and giving core... Fort Collins. Very nice. It's not worth very much, but hey, I'll still take it. I will gladly still take it. 
see if I can read my own handwriting. So, I ask you guys, how far of the campaign should we take this? Which I will answer in just a little bit with Sea Dogs, no, Fortify stuff, meh, meh. Let's use Sound Dogs of War. Lanius is coming and judging by literally every other person he's conquered. He will crucify a fraction of us, enslave some others, and make at least one of us an ancestor or advisor to his band. Let's prepare to sink our teeth into his neck. Pretty good. At full three research slots. Joy. Joyous. 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 Ooh, dynamite. Uh, dynamite is pretty darn important to get. So. But yes, the scope of this campaign. Well, someone r said that we should go from. We should stretch from the Gulf of Mexico all the way to ca Canada. We could. But there's actually quite a few people who supported the idea and brought it up themselves without my, me like telling them or anything like that. Like. We should take all of Colorado, which makes sense, Texas, and Oklahoma. So, I kind of like that idea. We'll take parts of New Mexico and all, but I think that sounds like a really great idea. And by Texas, I'm pretty sure they also mean probably Louisiana, just because it's already there. So, Now, we might annex them fully into our nation, or we can puppet them. Hmm, I think we might just annex them. Sometimes I puppet the nations... Or, you know, the states, but seeing as we get Texas barbecue and we do get a claim on every single Texan state, I think we'll probably at least eat Texas. Texas is tasty. Alright, so we got that going. You guys are next. 190 days, holy cow. Alright, so we should be able to win without too much destruction, right? Without too much of a bad thing. Gun nut, thank you very much, because we're mostly using infantry there. Organization loss awesome movie, I suppose though, why not? Uh, have I done force attack? No, not bad. Three losses. Make it nine, make it ten, make it probably twenty. Sound the dogs of war, though. So I asked you guys yesterday which path we should take, and overall we are going to go with the... Big Bang. Just because 8% more attack is just so nice. 7% more recruitable population isn't bad. And this industry stuff isn't great, or I mean bad, but just not great. It's just not enough. Oh wait, hold on, why am I researching dynamite then? Yeah, what the heck. If we're doing that, then my bad. Let's go and do saws instead. But yeah. Completely my bad. Dynamite salvagers. There's a lot of explosives around the city. Some of them weren't even the ones we made. Cool. So losses. If it's less than 100, I, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Well, they just lost 1,300. Yeah, I, I'm assuming it's going to be around maybe 30 at max. Maybe. Especially for this last battle. 11. Okay, so we lost 11 guys. Not bad. Thank you. Chinese overlords. Cool. So after this, then we'll go and ha have our little civil war. I forget. I think someone said Robco is actually based in Dog City. So if we can actually get Robco here, that'd actually be really darn cool. Ooh. Overall political guide. Now we only get two political power a day. Oh, so little. How few little pieces of political power that we get. We're yeah, about halfway done with that. And good. Very good. Actually, what else can we throw on our guys eventually? We've got anti tank, we've got doggos. Actually, oh, we can't throw doggos on the main battle lines. That kind of sucks. I'd love to do that, but obviously we cannot. And then we'll do Boom Crew, those who hold the natural, natural glycerin, our madmen and heroes. Let us turn their rights to war. Very nice. Got a little bit more political power. I would first like to core Cheyenne, just to get out of the way. It's not worth very much at all, but I'd rather have them under us than anything else. So, normally I ask you guys what we should call our spy agency name, and I didn't ask you guys last time, because I was kind of like waiting to see if anyone would actually like perk up and, and just tell me what we should call it. So some of you guys have, and the name that I like the most out of what you guys suggested was this name right here. The Cabal? No, no, no. Watch Dogs. That's very, very fitting for this. Uh, horses? No. Hmm... Let's go with this one, maybe. I mean, there's not too much here that screams, you know, doggerinos or doggies, but whatever. That's fine. Making some of that. Do we need any more factories? Obviously, yes. But we need more water. Where are the followers of the apocalypse? Setting up man of prospectors? Sure. Oh, say, ooh, construct bunkers? Build roads? That's what we love, slaves. We're by servants. By servants? Gains 0 0.04. Lose 40 caps. Lose 40 manpower. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go another road. That's nice. I, I 
Also want to invest stimulus in dog suit eventually too. Boom true. Demo man, grenades are most useful as long as you don't accidentally drop them. Yeah, dropping grenades doesn't sound like a very fun idea. I'm sure a, a few people have done it before. And they might have told, been able to tell their story, but I kind of doubt it. Cool. So, now we have all this territory to core. But it's not looking too bad. Natural disasters. Our country has experienced a great hail. From reports on the ground, it seemed that a death claw... That deathclaw-sized chunks of glowing ice fell from the sky onto the roads, fields, some shacks, and a statue of our founder. The people are requesting relief for pain, suffering, and ice-related anxiety. What can we spare? How much money do we have? Oh, we have enough. We can do that one. That's fine. I don't really care, to be honest with you. As long as it helps out the people a little bit, I'm okay with it. Dog City. Nice. A few more dollars. Love the dollars. Actually caps. It's literally caps. We're not using the NCR dollar or the um, Legion Denaris. So. The battle over down. The battle will shape the Mojave no matter the outcome. Can ca Kaiser get... can win? Can he, can he win here? Because this is on A historical. So maybe... Maybe, maybe, maybe... Let's see. Defense. Let's get some more defense. I love defense. And then special forces after that. And the old world wall holds. Man, it's gotta be impossible to actually win over here. You know what? You might not even just win. You might just... And, can you just manually justify on the Mojave territories as Kaiser? You might be able to. At that point, I'd probably just do that. So. But that's just me. Cool. Yeah, another trade would be really nice, actually. Really, really nice. What do we not have? We've got quite a bit of everything, actually. We need more guns, though. We would definitely need more guns. We need some demo equipment as well. And saws. I like... I really... I don't know. For me, right now, I've really been enjoying saws. And frag grenades. Go up to three each. That'll be fine for now. And then, blasting the ruins. Honestly, there's a great deal of loot in the ruins, but much of it is inaccessible. Let's fix that. We get a whole two scrap. Wow. Two scrap. Ooh, new sterling. Ah, new sterling vault. Uh, let's see. I'll probably core this one first just because it has actually water, and that'd be nice to get. But let's go ahead and save our enemies. Organize slavery. Well, this one's always pretty good to do, so... Demo research. Well, we're already part of the way done there, so. Grab you because it's tried and true. Red Chogan. Okay. Cipher, capture effectiveness. Capture cipher effectiveness. Steel blueprint. And I'll do you because we can. And we're going to go ahead and do Alanius just in case. Oh, uh, yeah. Any partisan stuff? You might as well use this person. There you go. Good luck with that. Now we should have, like, very, 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 very little resistance. Yep, see, exactly. Love it. Beautiful. Only get two political power a day. Is that all? Waste on survivalism. Very good. Very, very good. Mm. Yeah, maybe we should get some water. Actually, how much water does this group have? They have a little bit. That's not bad. Over here, we want to take some water, too, but at this point... We've got 20 divisions. That should be enough to take out the warden when we have the little civil war. Well, that's quite a bit of lag. What's going on? Oof. Blast mining. There's more to mine in the wasteland than just salvage. Explosives are useful there, too. Oh, four more scrap. What happened? Why was there so much lag? Usually, you know, T double A is having a good time with them. Mail Drinkers looking pretty nice. I have played as Mail Drinkers. That's actually one of my shortest campaigns I've ever done because I think we ran out of stuff to do, maybe. I can't remember. I can't remember why. Gotta play the Mormons one more time, at least. The New Canaanites, I should say, really. Public projects. Let's go ahead and grab some more woodworking. We already got the next level, so. Yeah, we need more military factories, so the port equipment's not looking too bad. I did say we want recon. I'm gonna max out recon in this campaign. We don't have enough arm XP now. Ooh, that's not bad. Fire teams, demo teams, and then that's it. Any pirates and stuff, Reno's. Good, good, good. Death Claws ate some of our team. This is the terrible day for our men and nation. Los was puppeted. So it can't be that much longer, right? 40 days left. Actually, it's already been 150 days. Wow. Cool. Cool. Just kind of looking around. Alright, so here I definitely want to maybe try to get imminent raids on our border. We've learned of a plan raid to steal. 
probably caps from Black Canyon. Thankfully, we've managed to set for messages sent between the raiders and learn of their target before any nasty surprise. We must should muster defense. Yeah, we probably will. Infantry equipment, meh. Power armor, support equipment. Yeah, we could really use that one, actually. Was there something else I wanted to do here instead, though? I feel like there is something I wanted to do here instead. Stability. I, I like that support equipment, but we already have enough. I love infrastructure. I love, love infrastructure. Okay. Black Canyon. Well, Black Canyon's right here. They don't even touch us, except through the mountains. I mean, they had the glow bugs as a puppet, right? But, patches, huh? The last mining. Oh, patches is a guy. Just to let you know, I had to, I, I wanted to make sure. So, big bangs, salvaging explosives are just explosives by any other name. After all, salvaging explosives, more division attack. I love the attack. How are these guys looking? Uh, mostly just pure infantry. And by mostly, I mean completely pure infantry. Okay, that's a little different. How close are we with this? 89%, 91, so they'll be done very, very soon. We'll have this one done very soon, and we'll actually be able to go to war, of course, very, very soon. 15 days, so. Construction, keep making some. Go ahead and start building stuff in Dog City, that's fine. And, some more antipartisan stuff. Always useful. It looks like we have a good chance of winning, which is nice. We have... and We should probably build more guns. Oh, we need more factories. There we go. That should help out up there at least a little bit. There you go. 1-1. One, one. That's fine for now. Weaponry. Yeah, we just need more water. Demand tribute. The raiders who take refuge just outside our borders have sent us a simple message. Trade, pay, trade, uh, pay tribute or die. Go suck yourself. Oh, they actually took them all over. Wow, they... Wow, that was fast. Cool. Alright. And just in case, I'm going to start justifying these guys. Just... Well, 55 days. What the heck? Why is it so fast? Now, can we actually win here? Are they doing last stand? They're doing last stand. Look at that. Their organization is not dropping, but their strength is. Big bang. Even more attack. Now, this takes... Ooh, seven days. We'll do fortify the highways first. No, let's do sea dogs because it's only 30 days. Who says we can't use Arkansas tributary to raid our neighbors? No one. That's who. Yeah, they're actually doing last stand. Look at that. That's kind of wild. You almost... Oh, look at that. Oh, they're so weak over here. You almost never see them use it. But sometimes they do do it. And we literally killed the division off until it died. Nice. We've lost 14. They lost 900. 23 versus 900. Primitive radio. Very good. Very good. Improvised tools. Cool. Mm, would anyone like to just go to New Sterling real quick? Just like a quick trip. You know, nothing, nothing too major. Take away the radar. They can't do too much. I love New Sterling. Man, we're doing really, really well. 26 losses versus 1,000. We get like, what, 29 people a month. That almost covers all of our casualties already. Yeah, we're definitely ready for the war against Warden. Beautiful. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Hope I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling pretty darn good. Holy Oak. Oh, military training, nice. So if it's seriously 55 days, I might just take out another group as well. And let's go ahead and grab... This one. Public projects. How much will it take to core some of these areas? Uh, we wanted this one first, I think. Just like nine more political power, that's fine. We'll get it in like four days, so... Pretty darn nice. Loving it. Sea dogs, thank you. And oh, NCR, baggers. We literally have twenty days left with these guys. All right, so if it's twenty days, that's not bad. That's seven days. Let's do fortify the highways. That should be enough time for us to go to war, finish the war, and then go to war again with the warden folk. The roads of the ancient soul through Denver is held aloft by metals, metals and stone we can't match. They also provide great fields of fire if we prepare them. Very good. All right, give them about five seconds before I go. Wee. Five. Alright, time to go wee. Yeah, I'm just kidding. We can't go wee yet. I would love to just go wee all over them. Which sounds very weird. Very, very weird. I'm, I'm getting so weird, man. I'm getting so weird. New Sterling has been disabled. Good. Only 45. That's not enough. 
But we'll keep upgrading ourself and we'll be fine. Economic resurgence, great news. And now it's 56, which actually still isn't that great. We got enough money for now. And slaves? Hmm. I guess technically maybe... Well, maybe not. I'm just thinking right now about slaves and Old World Blues. Like, does the population ever increase or do they just die naturally? Like... Because we're going through a lot of hours, a lot of days and such, but... Like, how does the slave population act? Like, yeah, we can always increase it, we can always decrease it and such. But the natural population growth of slaves, I guess, isn't very high. I don't know. Hmm. Well, we're taking out the baggers. Alright, so we lost like a guy or two. Loving it. So, we gotta be ready for Dog City. I think it's like right around here-ish. That the Civil War will start with that. And after fortifying the highways, we'll be ready. Cool. We got about 10 days left. Open the box, huh? There is a haunted building in the heart of Denver. Although it looks normal from outside, there is a black box. It's cold as summer and dark as day inside. We do not know what it contains, but whatever it is, we know it must be valuable. Because why not? I love black boxes. The Pit Bulls. Every unit leader gets one more defense skill. That's not bad. Hello, America. Oh. Trouble in California. Actually, that sounds pretty normal. Mm. There we go. The last claim of Dog City. Actually, we get to keep all of our stuff. Dog City lost. It's been occupied by foreign forces. Already a stream of refugees is linked to our lands. Spreading tales of brutal repression and lost loved ones. Not only that, it was a capital trade hub. Vital to our economy. Steps must be taken at once. Move the treasury to a new location. So be it. Oh, yeah. I guess moving it up there, then. The last claim of Dog City. Denver was a city split into sections. Claims. Salvagers always stuck to the claims, keeping to themselves as they looked for valuable bits to sell off to wandering traders. Yet, there was one site that nobody dared lay claim to. Deep in the center of the city, housed within the, the old Denver Police Department headquarters, was a cursed claim. Every time a group has tried to break into the box claim, they all ended up dead for it. Bears his teeth, alike to his predecessors, knew he needed this last claim if he was going to build his empire of salvage and scrap. The hangdogs would have their prize, even if they had to destroy Duck City in order to get it. Under the anarchist sound the alarm. I will have my treasure. Yes. War platoons. And... Oh, the pit bulls. We are the masters of the dark city, and no one will take that away from us. We have driven all those who threaten our rule from the city, and we always will be here. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this, since we get a couple more guys, and that's it. We'll probably only need four more leaders, and we'll each get one more defense you now, because of the focus and such, so... Cool. Are we just on anybody else? No. We have Robot City, but down here, we got Robot City, Scorpion's Bite, Max and Chapter, which means these guys are next. <sighs> Luminous ones. Hello there. You can go ahead and move on in. That would be quite delightful. Scraggy PK. Now, if you could... You can probably win. We can pierce some. They're not going to be able to do that well if we can pierce them, so. And I'm going to have you guys force the attack, because I do not want to deal with Warden that much at all. Uh, I love the picture of Warden. Can from Colorado. Hello, America. They have 2 to 4,000 manpower. 8 to 14 divisions. Not bad. I should pay attention to how the war is going. It's going okay. Keep these guys in place. Cut these guys off. And there you go. Very nice. And we cut these guys off too. Man, you should have seen me try this off screen. Because I was getting a little ragey when I first tried this campaign. Because when this first happens, you're like, oh, holy crap, we don't actually have anti tank yet. So we've lost. Well, I can't really tell. How about over here? 180 ain't bad. Can't tell how many they've lost. Probably not that many, honestly. Cool. Boy, Sun Survivalism, followed by Mercenary Conscription. Love it. And then, after, I said we would research something else, I forget. But I'm going to go for Special Forces next. Dog City's ours again. I love Dog City. And we got some commercial uh, prototypes? Protectrons. Why did I say prototypes? Mr. Mocha Lover, you're going nuts. Yes, I am currently. I am mentally going Wee. Is there any more water? Seriously, where the heck are the followers of the apocalypse? This is one of the rare campaigns where I'm like, where are they? Oh, hold on. 
Nice, we got slaves. I love slaves. Riches of the box, though. With all the treasures of this claim, we will be unstoppable. Our might over Colorado, uncontested. Get another research slot and elite weaponry. I love it. Infantry armor is looking so good. I'm going to go ahead and probably do this. Oh, not that one. This one. And now we don't have enough. Wow, we need a lot of infantry armor. Uh, put the doggos on there. That'll help suppress things. And actually, do we have this as a core? Yeah, it's back to our cores. So all of this is not cored, which we're working with right now. We're working with it. 125, economic capital fallen. Thank you very much. We might need to raise conscription level. Maybe, maybe, probably not. Let's go do that. Go down to one for now, because you don't really need that much. We'll put some stuff on there later on. Scan just found something. Arc Jet System Schematics. That's kind of cool. Oh, that is not bad. I do want some casts. Close Air Support, that would be really good, but I'm thinking we keep doing our stuff. Maybe try to get to Robco. Slaves? You mean road builders? Dog City's just able. Hey, 90, 97. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and grab some more tools. Actually, you know what? I did say I want to get this, and I did say I want to get Special Forces, so we're going to go with resource production first, and then we're going to grab Special Forces. Riches of the box, common weaponry, party crusher, don't mind me. Out east, Doki Doki and her little robots hope to make us forget about the atrocities they have committed. At the end of the day, there aren't they are people. They are just tools meant to serve us, same as a good wrench. Just remember, they're not people. And you'll be okay. Or we'll be okay. Cool. We're doing actually better in water now. Nice. I would like to core new sterling as fast as possible, but it doesn't look like we can really do that. There's such little populations around here. Yeah, well, you might as well do it, why not? Well, I don't really care too much, so. And we're happily done with that. Great, loving it. I like old war blues, probably too much. So we got that stuff going. More energy, and go and grab more backyard workshops. We already need more uh, infantry armor. Anti-tank is looking real good, though. All right, we get some more of this. Make him go boom, thank you. And do we have enough fire teams yet? No. Okay, throw them on anyways. There we go. Actually. Oh, we do get to use Warhounds. Someone did recommend we should use these guys. If I replace this with Warhounds, we get what? Less organization, more soft attack, more recon, more breakthrough, more hard attack, more suppression, less organization, like I said earlier. Slightly more supply use. You know what? This is probably a really bad idea. I want even more. Now we have a 7-2 division now. There's that. Right now. 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 infantry divisions, or battalions. 8 infantry battalions, I should say. And 2 warhounds. Now, actually, how much organization do these guys have? Period. We're not really sure. Whatever. Nice. Someone did recommend I use more warhounds, so. There we go. Twin Mothers to the North. The Twin Mothers, as a tribe, have seemed to taught their last lesson. Alliance's forces fill in the valley and take control of their sacred temples and fields. When the time came to finally bring Diana herself out for questioning, the Legion was left empty-handed. Diana would have opened her up her true home in paradise to Wastelanders and Twin Mothers refugees, seeking to heal from the injuries they took and prepare for a defense against further legionary attacks. Things are getting stranger in Colorado. Well, I'm not sure what we can do about it, but we can enjoy it. <sighs> Play working. Metalworking. Ah. Oh. Doggo City. And. Yeah, infrastructure here isn't great. Fort Collins. Actually, we'll do both of these at the same time then. Oh, uh, yeah. No water. Whatever. We'll, we'll build up stuff here, anyways. It doesn't matter. It's all going to get done anyway. It doesn't really matter too much in the order we do stuff, so I don't really care. There you go. Thank you. Conquest of Steel. Who are the Brotherhood to think that they rule Colorado? Fools! At best. Well, let's go and stop training. We'll probably be okay just going into war very soon. Actually, you know what? You can keep training then. There you go. There we go. How much more infantry armor do we need? 209, eh? One, oh, 188 instead. 180? Maybe 170 some? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah, we definitely need to raise the conscription level up eventually, but I don't feel like it, I'll be honest. Don't really feel like it. Hmm... Silver position, that's not bad. I do want to core more stuff, though. I really just want to core stuff. I love coring stuff in Old World Blues. That's probably one of my greatest reasons why I love Old World Blues so much. Is because even when you conquer stuff, you can still core other areas and don't have to deal with the resistance like in base game. Especially in Kaiserreich. Oh my goodness. I haven't played Fear in forever. But, oh my goodness. 
the re the when you can't put down resistance or you need a lot of manpower to do so and, and, and in old world blues it's easy to remove it it just makes it so much easier it's just so much more enjoyable at least in my opinion actually that is water that is no water cool thank you Conquest of Steel and Biting Down. The Scorpion Tribe have menaced our southern border for too long. Moreover, they will be a valuable buffer against the Legion. Absolutely. Well, if we get there fast enough, resource efficiency gain. Let's grab some uh, basic tools. Maybe we'll do some more extraction as well, because we do need a little speck of water. And we could use some more stability right now. It's not looking too good. We can invest stimulus in there, huh? Well, we could do that one. We might get some... Actually, I might get some motorcycles too, so we can have better procurement. I think that'd be good. How much money do we have currently? 414. Uh, what is the level of development here? One. Well, I don't really want to invest stimulus too much into Dog City, but we'll do it anyways. There we go. Alright, guys, go and stop training. You're looking pretty okay. There goes Baja, California. And here we go. Can we win just by attacking like this? What if we just force the attack? How is air damage doing? 3.8, 4, around 4 ish. That's not bad. And I don't want to forget doing about doing this too. There we go. There we go. A little better. We've lost. Well, that's so glitch. Gosh darn it. Luminous Ones, thank you very much. And then we should go to war with Robot City. Mercenary Conscription, don't mind if we do. And I guess we're going to get Civilian Draft. And it says minus zero organization. I'm going to assume it's like 0.5. I'm going to assume maybe even point, minus 0.9, but it's really not that bad. I don't really care. And then Max in Chapter, which I promise I will play as someday. But we're going to be biting down, my friends. And we can't do anything until we actually conquer one of these groups. Or maybe all three of these groups. Awesome. Lanius. Oh, he's actually struggling against the Sundogs. Cool. Three. Two. How many divisions does Doki Doki have? Well, up to 15. God, I hope they get a unique focus tree someday. I think that sounds just awesome. A little big old heart from Doki Doki. Goodbye, Doki Doki. Now they're putting up some good resistance. I wish we could see how much we've lost. Rats, we read this last time. If you'd like to read it, go right ahead. Ratterinos. Alright, next. Uh, what do we want? Oh, Foreman. It's either Foreman or Kibble Eater. I'll probably go with Bryce Henson, maybe. Eh, well, maybe. We get enough resources eventually anyways. Experience of Ultra's losses, more monthly population. Eh, we'll get it anyways, because we can. That's not really worth getting, but whatever. Watch out for spies. How about watch out for even more spies? Thank you. Even more money, maybe? 90, almost 97. Almost 97. Uh, please tell me how many men we've lost. Also take over Petro Chico, 271, 283. Not bad, I would say. Come on in. Ah, Robot City, thank you very much. And we get free cores on these next few enemies we take out, so. If you didn't know that already. Oh, they have power armor down there, which makes sense. They are those guys. I don't want to fight these guys yet, so you all will be the group we must deal with first. Do we have an airbase? Yes, we do. That's good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Back in the box, bone dry. Taking out a city of robots with human flesh has been painful, but not without its advantages. Our elite forces are wolves among sheep and compared to our foes, so. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and just immediately go to war. I want them to attack the line as fast as possible. Yeah, go ahead and let them just try to attack us here. Because they're slowly putting in more and more soldiers, so. Find your kits? Don't mind if we do. Nice. So keep making these, and then we'll make some more military factories. Can we actually win here? It seems pretty dangerous. I don't know if we could actually win here. We're looking a little lacking right now, probably because we're out of doggos, so we should probably actually make more doggos. Yeah, we definitely need to make more. Holy crap, we need to make way more doggos. Go up to five for now. Infantry armor's not bad, but we can kind of limit what we're doing with those guys. Good. Go up to there. Go up to there. And then go up to there, because we definitely need you guys. Back at workshops. Great. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Extraction. Dedicated equipment. We need that for more water right now. Nice. I wish this wasn't glitched. But that's okay. No worries. Picking the bots. Bone dry. Very good. 
And now we get a whole whopping 2.8 political power every day. Not enough. So, New Sterling's Vault, you'll be close. Yeah, 231, almost 16,000 manpower, not bad. Uh, we could force the attack, but mm, I'm not sure about that right now. Got to be even more resource efficiency gain. Yeah, forcing the attack, probably not a really good idea since we're already losing stuff. Watts, consumer electronics, nice. How much manpower do these guys have? Because we can pierce them definitely, most definitely. 2,000 manpower, not bad, not bad. I mean, still slowly going up. I mean, we're losing stuff. We're gaining stuff. Do we have any... Ooh, he's level 6 already. Wow. How about our field marshal? Tree Burner Bingo. He's a negotiator. I said yesterday, Nimble Leader. It's okay. It's not great. I don't really want that one. Ninja would not be bad. Uh, we'll go with Ninja then. Just because that gives us more recon in the, in the field of battle. Mm, yeah, let's help you save up political power for New Sterling. Having that as a area would be really good. Actually, you know what? If you can't win... I'm going to send half you guys over here then. Now, I'm going to have them attack us. Oh, can we see? No, we can't see that. Okay. Ready to intercept your group. This should be Pip the boys. And now they're attacking us like crazy. Okay, maybe that was... That might have been a few too few. Let's actually throw over there. There we go. So that's going to take a little bit of time. Whatever. I don't really care. Uh, let's see. Leaving four divisions there is probably not a great idea, but whatever. I might throw three over there, actually, instead. Come on, guys. So right now, we're minus 1,400 dogs. It's fine. 22. Alright, if you really want to get in there, go ahead. 400. Actually, we're missing quite a bit more armor than anything else, really. Basic tools, nice. You have some more tools, perhaps? Good. 23. Nice, nah, we're getting closer. We have so much political power, I love it. Now, how much manpower do they have? Still 2,000. Ah, oh, they got less than 1,000, that's good. Own dancers, all of them over there. Good, 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 good. Alright, new Sterling. You're getting closer. 23, can we actually hold here? No? Yes? Core? Yes, please. There you go. Distribute the pit boys. Machine assisted decryption. Not bad. Ironmongers are gone. We'll probably still use more stability. Can we get more stability? That would be very nice. Send slaves to the workshops. Oh, many prospectors. Let's keep going with that. We can only have almost 100 caps every quarter. 199 for now. Not bad. Yeah, we gotta make more doggos. Infantry armor's not looking good. That's alright. Infantry armor. Yeah, you should probably be at the top besides doggos. Doggos are actually much easier to make. So I'm not too worried about that stuff. There you go. Head on in. And we'll do fine. Alright, tower walkers are gone. Yeah, attacking over any like really choke, choke point like this, choke point, is not great. Especially when you're not... We don't have enough uh, soldiers on the line. But they have about a thousand manpower left, that's not too bad. They might attack again soon. Let's tempt them. Temptation is a sin. No? Too many guys, huh? Alright, whatever. How about come up here? Any water? Yeah, this one's next. It's only 152, that's not too bad. And almost three a day. Jeez. Too good, man. Too good. Oh, we're, at, we're, we're good on dogs. Nice. So what else are we lacking, then? Infantry armor? Doggy arenos? We got enough anti-tank. We got enough demo equipment. Saws. We have 14. It's not bad, right? Less than that much. Good. If we keep attacking, we'll actually we'll probably will win, so... Find your kits. Wow, the game is just kind of screwing up right now. Whatever. Well, we got about a thousand of that. That's not bad. Nice. Time for another general, then. Head on over here. Led by Bloody Lindsay. Wow, there's got a lot of things here. He's CA. Inspirational all the way. 
Oh, we almost have a civilian draft done. We can do that stuff. Let's grab some more of this. So we need actually less equipment when we're harder, which is nice. And then we'll grab Infiltration Tactics. And now we get a lot more recon. Even though Doggos give us recon, I think this would probably be better, but whatever. At this point, they probably don't have enough armor. We're going to do this already. Go and force the attack. Now, this is going to be kind of a problem to do. We don't have really have a big navy to do stuff. But by doing this, we're going to hurt ourselves, obviously. But it's an unnecessary evil. And they shouldn't have that much manpower after we're done here, too. So. Let's yeah, grab war camps. We need them. I'm not focused on agriculture at all. Which is usually something I do focus on. Level 6. Becoming a desert fox. An urban assault specialist. Good. Very, very good. Got more political power anyways. Let's come up here and do that. Thank you. Slightly more water. I'll enjoy that. Minus 6 only. That's not bad. Yeah, that power armor's not looking good. Follow Vault City. Goodbye, Vault City. Steam powered extraction. Let's grab some agriculture finally. Organized agriculture, I should say. Yeah, those that power armor's not looking good. Goodbye. And just 91%. We are actually getting urban assault specials done. Even though we're getting the Desert Fox done one done a little bit faster. Infantry armor slowly dropping, which is awesome. You guys not looking great, but hey, there you go. The price is right. Every man has his price, right? Awesome. There goes the Black Sun. Level 5. Maybe a little bit more money. Maybe, maybe not. Watch out for spies, perhaps, some more. Oh. Put down some more resistance over here. Yes. Very good, very good. Scavengers found something great. Special Forces technology. That's something we can actually use. Oh, uh, my goodness. This is going to take a while. Mm. You know what? I'm going to do this off-screen, and I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone, and here we are. I've broken over the river, and it took only until February 24th, 2279. I've only lost a 1,000 men. My bad. That's completely my fault. Should have realized that I probably should have kept some guys just kind of defending, but, a, hey, it is what it is, I suppose. Got to get a Walsh, and we'll have them done. And then we got to figure out how to kill off the Scorpion's Bite before... Oh, crap. Lanius is getting kind of thick. Hmm. All right, regardless, we're level 6. He looks like our guy is now a Desert Fox, so how about get a cunning Desert Fox? Yeah, Lannis is probably not going to be easy. Hmm. That's alright, though. Can we core Red Mountain? I've been coring just states up here. Yep, we can. Good. And we'll core we'll probably Chug Wada very soon. God, I wish this still wasn't glitched, but whatever. And we got him. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. You know what? What would happen if I let these guys in? That'd probably be a very bad idea. So we'll take one, two, three. You guys come over here and... Do this too. And we'll grab uh, Uno and what they call Dose. Come over here and do that. Thank you. And then we're going to grab Uno Dose again. But really, Quattro people right there. Yeah. I, I know other languages, totally. Let's see, you actually just left all except for these one, two, three, four, and come right here. And have a good old time. Alright, cool. And we can actually do this. Scavenging power armor. Why should the Brotherhood be the only ones in Colorado with power armor? We can scavenge it too, especially from the cold, dead bodies. We can, so we can't get power armor. Someone did think in the comments from the last episode that we could not get power armor. Well, we can, my friends. We absolutely can. Seed selection, great. Now, you might be wondering, Mr. Mocha Lover, you got this done, but you didn't do this yet. Well, we are doing this. We're doing basic well pumps. We're getting some plant cultivation as well, as well as being finished with our land doctrine. Huzzah! Actually, area warfare, specialized doctrine. Let's go and do that one. And we don't actually have that much army XP now, do we? Special divisions. Go and throw another one on there because we can. Thank you. Come again. Yes. And so instead, spec ops. Good boys. There we go. Cool. Alright, seems like we're ready to go to war. What are we missing? First of all, we're missing more dogs. That's actually pretty normal. Oh, 10% more output. Actually, that's really, really good. We could definitely use that. But let's go and go to war and see what happens. Well, they attack our guys here. Oh, they're really attacking up here, too. How much manpower do they have? Well, they're less than 1,000. They have 12 to 18 divisions. And we have planes. But we've got to move quickly before 
everyone else decides to show up and ruin our fun. And by everyone else, I mean Lanius. Because he's probably looking mighty thick where he be. Yes, he does. Oh, crap. That's not good. Oh, a guy was wounded? Well, that's not good. So, Lanius. Really, we have only one front, hopefully, against him. He might land soldiers. He m could potentially go to war with Circle Junction and take them out, too, but hopefully that won't be the case. Next up, let's go ahead and grab bricks. No, let's go... Actually, I forgot about this stuff. Simple circuitry. More research speed. Having five research slots is so nice. Look how much manpower we have now. Oh, yes. We're actually mobilizing because of the civilian draft. I forgot about that. Nice. Nice arenos. Bastion? For some reason, I said Bastion, and I thought of the guy from Yu-Gi-Oh. What was it? Yu-Gi-Oh GX. Bastion. He likes with his chemistry stuff. I don't know why I just thought of that, but whatever. Sharper teeth. With our conquest, we entrenched ourselves on our new claims. Let the Legion come this way if they dare. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hopefully we can hold against the Legion. Uh, that might be a little difficult. How many divisions do these folks have? And the Brotherhood. Oh, oh god. Don't tell me that you want to come from my territory now. They have up to 66 divisions. We have, well, not that many. Um... For the Max and Chapters core territories, 15 days left. We have, well, we're going to core that anyways, which will be good. Oh, this is not going to be a good war for us. You know, I'm going to auto deploy these guys first because we're going to need some extra guys here immediately. We have enough manpower for them. Uh, let's take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. For this, Senate Manor Prospector is good. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure why you would dismantle your scavenging program. I, I don't understand why you would do that. Oh, sharper teeth. Great. Government staff for schools. Followed by... Actually, oh yeah, we got... We caught all that stuff. Ooh, that's not bad. I'm digging up bones for more water. There's a lot of salvage throughout Colorado. Why leave it in the cold ground for the Brotherhood or others to get? 103 factories. Almost 15,000 manpower. Over 15,000 manpower. 124 factories. Never enough. Never ever enough. I already did... Oh, crap. Oh, no, it's not us. Okay, they're not fighting us yet. Oh, I'm getting a little worried that they're going to fight us soon. Bastion is really nice. Do we have an airbase down here? No, we do not. Well, we kind of do, but we'll keep one down here, too. Uh, and water. We don't have that one done yet. Boom, boom, boom. Doesn't really matter to me. Just build more stuff up. Military factories. You know, let's build one thing in military factories because we can. Build more right there. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Good enough for me. And they demand territory. Well, crap -erinos. The cohort is the audacity to demand us of us territory. How should we proceed? Should we crush our miserable ambitions at once or delay them by giving in for enough time to annihilate them utterly? We're going to deal with this. Well, because we have to. The Pueblo Chemical Depot. Oh, that's kind of cool. Lose manpower. Makes sense. Hidden folk. A use for the weak. Oh, that's kind of cool. At the time of this recording, still have not played as long as his cohort, but whatever. Uh, Rhodes. I love roads. Doesn't sound very much like Ancapistan, but that's right. Using slaves to build roads? Sign me up. Alright, so hopefully we can hold. Do we have any more planes? We're going to need some more air do more air doctrine. Actually, yeah, we could probably have to use our air doctrine too. Alright, good luck, guys. Hope you guys can defend well, because he's going to be attacking with a ferocity that no one's going to like. Oh, but Gorilla Texas will help us with breakthrough. Uh, let's get some more reinforcement and radio. Oh yeah, they're definitely stacking a lot of guys up here, and these guys are well well equipped, very well equipped. Oh, this is not going to be good. Specialized warfare, good. Nice. And we don't have them deployed yet. Let's go ahead and grab or put on better doggos, even more soft attack. Yes, munch munch. Okay, so now they're going to war with us. They're not doing anything. What happens if we go to war with them? Hmm. Well, let's see if we can actually make the line a little bit shorter, perhaps. Shall we? Can we do that and then do that as well? We, oh, we can pierce them. That's good. How about over here? Can we do the same thing? We're doing very well against land ES. Could we actually just smash them to bits, maybe? I'd like to smash them to bits. Not bad. I'm, I'm liking this so far. It's going a little easier than I thought it would. Which is always nice, you know. Always nice.
Gosh dang, we can't see how many casualties he's taken. Now he's probably going to be filling out his line a little bit more. We are Lord of the Wisps, so now we're on major power. Very good. Oh, good God, what the heck. Wow. Government cipher schools are nice. Digging up bones. How about we be doing other stuff now? Such as tactically applied tactically applied digging. Yeah, why not? We can use explosives to access old mines and salvage. That's a lot of learning in the old books, you know, if, if you know where to look, of course. This is a little easier than I thought it would be. Man, someone who recommended that we put dogs on? Thank you. Because this is looking great. I'm loving what we're doing right now. Just drop their manpower as much as you can. They have 60 divisions max. Oh, oh, oh. That's looking a little tight right there. Mm. Ah, Bloody Lindsay. Inspirational, which is good. Let's go ahead and grab some more recon. Because we can use that on, on attack, on defense. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I want to core this next just because I want to get that little section done. Oh, hello. What's going on down here? No, nothing? Cool. They attack. Can you beat them up? Aw, oh, yeah. Ragtag Candle Shop on the quaint outskirts of Dog City. A mom and pop shop has made quite a splash. Ragtag ta ta Tallow Candles, they sell sandy with the best pulverized floater teeth. Some say it smells like raspberry with a hint of bergamot. Others can only detect faint amounts of doom. Either way, business is a booming. Thankfully, these new business owners pay their taxes. We could even buy a few. Some of our advisors could do with some relaxing candles, especially Jeremy. People doing well? We'll take 40 cases. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Just a little bit of money for slightly more stability. Why not? Oh, who just wins? What's going on? Did we lose? Oh, that's not good. That's not bueno. Send another guy in. God, I wish we could see how many men we've lost. About a thousand so far, probably. Oh, we lost that battle, but now we're trying to get it back. Plant cultivation. Crop rotation. There you go. Actually, you do that, and then you guys have out right there. That'd be good. And Bo Marinos. Basic wall pumps. Advanced wall pumps as well. Uh, actually, now we've got enough. We don't even need to have that stuff. Genta's showing up. Oh, that's not good. A god to the tribes? They have us in, They lost five divisions, maybe. Nice. Not bad. We have 17,000 manpower. I'm loving hangdogs. Hangdogs are a lot of fun if you know how to play them. Then again, I suppose you could say that for any nation, really. Look at that air XP. Holy crap. What is going on in the air? Well, they got some planes as well, but we got biplanes. We should probably actually upgrade those guys. Old dogs. Well, we're already done with this. New tricks. Contrary to the old adage, we've learned a great deal. Let us hold our head high among the civilized world, and then conquer it. Ooh. It's gonna come up here. Get rid of that. There you go. Is that it for coring stuff? We've got this to core. Uh, let's see. You... We got that one to core, we got that one to core, and we got this one to core. No, we have Max and. We have this core as well, nice. Yeah! Okay! Not bad. Can we see how much stockpile do they have? Wild Ace Spears, cool. Double Wild Aces. Well, they can't really be breaking our lines. We actually might be able to shatter their lines at this point. Air obstacles, combat rope, oh, looks like um, scavenge power, scavenge power, looks like special forces equipment. Yeah, not bad. I mean, this is a lot of territory that we have to take over. They have a lot of infantry coming though. Look at that. 24,000? Holy cow. Mm, how much money do we have? We've got about 100. Eh, let's save the money. I could invest stimulus, but we're not going to do that right now. So, as a slave nation, if we take out another slave nation, do we get their slaves? I'm kind of hoping so. Who dares wins? Scam just found something. Land auction bonus? Well, not really useful right now, but hey, whatever. New tricks? Bringing robots to heal. It's time to break the robots once and for all. We must. They must learn that they work for us, not with us. Cool, how about we just go and take Black Sun? Cool. This is definitely easier than I thought. It was Actually, the Maxon chapter was more difficult than... The Legion, the Lance's cohort so far. Simple circuitry, don't mind if we do. Let's grab some more complicated circuitry now. If you really want to attack, I mean, we'll, we'll oblige. We'll help you out here. Three divisions holding out. Very good, very, very, very good. Unfortunate. 
How many men have we lost? Well, a little more than a thousand, that makes sense. Anything else around here? Four men, resource efficiency gain, kibble eater, I don't want to lose stability right now. That not that would not be too bad. Let's go ahead and uh let's core more stuff. I like coring. Oh, that is not good. Can you guys actually win here by yourselves? You might be able to. We might actually lose that. Oh, we did. Hmm, go figure. They're not moving. Oh, uh, are they moving in at all? No. Oh, are they attacking up here too? Well, that's not good. Cyber training. Oh, even more attack. Please, yes. Thank you. Can you actually go there? Yes, you can. Nice. Oh, special forces. Yes. Now, what I'm probably going to do is try to come over here and cut these guys off. So. New general. Ooh, who's good on attack? Anybody? Reckless. It's not bad. S I. Ooh, less a division attack, but well, more attack, but less experience gain. Ooh, even more attack, attack, attack. And we'll go with small Mingan. This is a bad idea. I'm a bloody mess though. Led by Tupi. We'll go with bright eyed Tupi. Nice. This is why I wanted him. More entrenchment so we get Savage Leader. Nice. Train Doggos? Even better. They are attacking something fierce, man. Nine fingers, eh? Merchant Spies ain't bad. 50 divisions left. We know they have exactly 50 divisions. Bring robots to heal. And old doggos. We have seen much conflict and we will see much more. Ah, uh, well, let us prepare for battle. So we've got this area. Oh, we need this one cord next. How much will this cost? Too much. 196 for that little. Not really worth it, but we'll do it anyways. We're really stretching out of line here quite a bit, so. Good God. I love the attack that we can do. I mean, they just want to keep attacking. Old World Weapon Schematics. That's fine. Less than 3,000 manpower already. Good lord. Oof. No, we're going to actually attack here so we can help. Maybe get rid of this tile. I should really attack here, but whatever. And I can't even do Command Force Defense. Help out, help out, help out. There you go. Go where you need to go. If they break through part of the line, whatever. You know what happens. They really just want to die, don't they? Local leader. Let's go get some more attack. Yeah, I want more attack. Radio. Very good. We got some more encryption. Awesome. Wow, look at that special. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. We just, like, evaporated them. Nice. Bricks. Irrigation. Probably spend some on our, uh... Air reduction, too. Good boys. Love the good boys. Thank you. Recon, of course. Anti-tank. All the normal good stuff. And you guys. Great. That costs a lot, but it's well worth it. And actually, if you can make them, just make how many ever you can. It doesn't really matter. We could probably get enough caps to do whatever we need with them. Yeah. Oh, doggos. Jaws of victory. Behold the greatest army in the east. Absolutely. And that costs way too much to core that little piece of territory. Way too much. They're still attacking. Like, what the heck is wrong with these guys? God, I wish this wasn't glitched. So Lanius should be running out of soldiers now, right? He's, he's gotta be. He's less than a thousand. Oh, uh, he's got. Alright, so if we attack... Actually, how is this coming along? 180 days. Hmm. I'd love to have that ready to go, but... Hmm. Hmm. This is a lot of territory that we've got to keep under control. Well, I guess it's uh, time to do so. Three, two, I'm not going to wait. 
There we go. We're gonna force the attack and crush them until they are dead. Who dares wins? We're only doing not that much damage, actually. It's alright, though. They're out of manpower, so they can't do anything about it anymore. God, I wish this wasn't glitched. Advanced wall pumps. That's a little bit ahead of time. Let's go ahead and grab... Not that, not that. How about some of this? Decryption. Very good. And Jaws of Victory, how about Bike Makes Right? Let others wail about justice morality. The wasteland belongs to the strong, and we are the strongest. Ooh. Oh, we made it in a circle one. Beautiful. Goodbye. Are they getting manpower back because we're taking over their factories? Maybe. They have 36 divisions left. Wow. They, they, oh, he killed off their special forces, too. Holy cow. So, how many in the past month or year have we lost? Less than 2,000. I mean, that's so good. Get red mutts. Eh, yeah, right because we can. Better recon. Still need more military factories. Wow, we built a lot of stuff up, haven't we? There you go. Build stuff up. Oh, we, these guys are cut off too. I guess we'll end this episode once we have beated. Beated? We have beat. Lanius. Oh, Lanius. Man, we didn't need, even need to take the focus against Lanius to win against him. Doggos are a lot of fun. As you can tell. How much money do we have? 500 some? Let's go invest in Dog City then. I don't think they're going to be able to come back from this. Just a feeling. Just a feeling. Oh, Santa Ana does really well. Seems like we're going to have to go all the way down into central Mexico. Wow. Poto Jaguar. Eh? This is so sad. But so right. Difference analysis? Eh, it's not that ahead of time. Go and do that one. It's fine. So what do we not have poured up here in Colorado? Almost everything but this one. Chug water, eh? And the greatest of the pact. Who's a good boy? Yes, yes you are. What? Dogs are as loyal as well as fierce, so... And so is bears his teeth. You get a 5% even more attack. Awesome. <sighs> Beautiful. I really did not expect this episode to go this way. I knew, I knew we were probably going to do well, but... Good God, taking out Lanius in the second episode? Of course, then again, I mean, my episodes last quite a while, so, you know, go figure. Unless it's the very first episode, so. Peace conference? Ah, Mexican stuff that we don't really care about. So, five divisions. He started with 60-some. Not bad. Complicated circuitry, cool. Let's go and grab some steel technology, and then we shall have... Eh, it's not that ahead of time. We might as well do it. <laughs> Look at all the other Legion forces here. Now, there should be an event like... If Lanius, is, Lanius somehow gets taken out, then Kaiser himself should be like, Whoa. Ooh, what's going on here? Whoa. Actually, can, can we form Colorado? Maybe we can't. Ooh, that kind of sucks. Eastport... It was this one. We need two, 197, which is not bad, not great, but not bad. Irrigation. Bricks. Bricks. I'm surprised we have enough equipment for all this stuff, but hey, we'll take it. Or we'll do whatever we can. It really looks like we don't have enough divisions, but the greatest of the pact. I got Fort Desolation, that's nice. Let's take the city, if we can. Red Sun City would be nice to get, but whatever. If you like to read about this, go right ahead, and we lose some caps, whatever. Not much, but I'll take it. Okay, so we beat Lanius. And we've got a huge chunk of New Mexico under us, too. But, hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow with a big ol' Nation of the Hangdogs. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.